Welcome to Imperium Galactic Survival and here we are guys we are on the bridge of my capital vessel and this part I want to talk a little bit about the process of setting up a base on a planet that you've reached by using the capital vessel this is different from like when the game first starts and you're building a base on the, what would be a starter planet like a Kua or Omicron this is you've arrived at a planet and well, for whatever reasons you've decided you need to set a base up. There are various reasons why you would like to do this. One is that you maybe want need to settle down for a little while and gather resources. And actually having a base down on the planet could be incredibly useful. Because there's kind of three ways that you can actually do this. If you're only staying for a short time, it might be easier just to take over a friendly point of interest, drop... You can either go in there and host like it's quite good if it's full of resources and it's got an advanced constructor. And another option is that you just literally build a base from scratch. But to be honest, my preferred option is to actually build a simple base using a blueprint. Now, I emphasize the word simple, and you can see I've already created this one here. This is a, a tier two base. It's quite simple and straightforward. It's not massively armed it's not a fortress it took 21 minutes to produce which is the reason why i've already produced it ahead of time now what i will say guys is don't be tempted to go overboard with these larger bases unless you've got a very clear idea where you want to put them for the long term because one of the problems with these really large bases is that unless you're landing on a planet that's got a very flat area you're either gonna have to terraform or correct it afterwards so i mean if you're landing on the desert of omicron or something like that then yeah maybe you'll be, you'll be okay so this is a point to remember but if you're only just visiting it's easier just to build a simple one i mean the simplest one of all is wooden base and of course there's nothing stopping you building your own custom base so that you can actually use it as an instant deploy you know something like a minimal base you know it the other thing i would say guys is that if you are going to do one of these prefab bases even if you get one from the workshop go into creative mode first and res it to see what's actually in it it's worth having a look what the defenses are because the next important thing you're actually going to need is the am ammunition for the defenses and if it's got no defenses make sure you manufacture some extra defenses in order to deploy them as soon as you get down here because one of the problems with planets that aren't the starter planets they have kind of two major problems on them one is the patrol vessel and the other one is the drone base now if, if a planet's got a patrol vessel on it you've got to seriously consider going underground or having a foot because the patrol vessel will eventually zoom in on you target you and make it life if you watch the beginning of this series you'll be aware of the problems i had deal with a patrol vessel on the ground but of course the other option is which is what i've already done on ningus is the fact i've already shot the patrol vessel down so what you could do is if you're going to stay a long time and you want to settle shoot the patrol vessel down first and that means that all you've got to do then is deal with the drones from the drone base and the drones from the drone base can, can be a pain in the neck but there is a way you can approach this guys and what we're going to do is just going to go i think it's time to go down and do the next step in the process which is we obviously need to get into here and i'm just gonna of course we're gonna need to shuffle around a little bit do a bit of shimmy shaking in order to get out of the bay come on I really I should consider taking those rail guns off actually right so we're gonna come in here just get up speed take off the auto brake now when you're going to choose the location for a base it's very important that you know where the drone base is but it's simply because you don't want to be dropping your base very fast what's that asteroid there it's a cold boy asteroid that could be good to harvest actually there's a drone there but we'll be okay it's a space drone i think we can just ignore that i don't think it's going to come in at us it's a long way away actually there's a lake there you can just see it just it's just above the ship okay i think we're going to head for that lake because of course that comes to the next point i was going to talk about is that if you if you're going to put a base down try and put it near water so that you can take the advantage of collecting water so we're just going to go through the cloud base Hopefully the this lake, if I can find it, wherever it's gone. I think that's it there. Let's just have a quick look. We're 
close enough that the propeller put the auto brake back on so that the, the ship stabilizes and of course what you need to do is actually work out so we've got a nice lake there we've got a farm that's friendly and where's the drogue base that's the oxygen depot we've taken that so that's an example of, of a base we could take over but if you see the proximity to the drone base you're going to get nothing but grief from that drone base yeah I think that's going to be okay and I think we can drop down next to this lake actually if I was planning to put down a large base if I'd come out and done the necessary reconnaissance I could look at this and think well there's a good opportunity here for me to actually deploy a large place base here without any real problems anyway we're just going to level off here actually I think what we're going to do is the drone base is that way isn't it So what I'm going to do is come this way. The reason I'm doing this, guys, is that this base has a couple of turrets on each side of the door. So what I would like to do, if possible, is have... Let's just get up a bit like that. Is maybe have the, the turrets facing forward. Okay. Let me see. Of course, we're just going to... I must, one day I must remember, learn to remember the shortcut for the actual game. Uh, that's not great, no good, is it? No, I need it the other way round, didn't it? Where's the, the entrance is there? That's no good, okay. Let's just... I want, it, I want to get the orientation pretty good, guys. Okay, let me just come round here. Maybe we're just going to come back a little bit. Uh, yeah, I think that might work. I think the entrance is... A smidge. So maybe if I come back this way a bit. Yeah, I think that will work, guys. Okay. What we need to do is almost immediately we need to get in here. Hopefully, I'm just gonna have to land. Now I need to get into this base as quickly as possible. Because okay. obviously we need to power it up a okay. manage fuel put some fuel in All right, let's give it some fuel and the next thing I actually need to do is actually get some um, where's the 30 millimeters okay let's pop that in could have done okay get okay, put 3,000 30 millimeter rounds in we need to power the base on otherwise our turrets won't work and the next thing we actually need to do is very very quickly if I can find the turrets so we've got two turrets here and what I don't want it doing is kind of shooting up I want it to do is take out turrets mounted weapons aliens and predators I don't want it shooting prey Okay, so we'll just take that off, thrusters and generators. Actually, we could leave thrusters on, because we may get troop ships coming. Okay, and of course I haven't switched them on. I better switch them on, otherwise we're gonna, we won't have defences. So we've now got some forward defences. And um, my ship, ah, I forgot to, okay. That was nearly a bad mistake there, guys. Okay. Okay. Let's get right. I'm just gonna power that off for a little while. While we actually have a look round. So we should be okay. So what I could do is just and just to ah, great. What the heck's coming in? Okay. What was that?
rocket drone. Okay, so we got hostiles coming in almost immediately. Okay. I think I'm going to have to put an extra cannon on it. That, that was a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be, guys, so... Okay. Oh, we got a little bit of extra fuel. Yeah, I think I'm going to put some extra defenses. I think that's the is that the patrol. I think that's the patrol vessel that I shot up actually. I'm just going to have a quick look. This is the patrol vessel that I shot to pieces here. It's absolutely completely broken. It can't do anything. Okay. So we're just going to get back to our base. And we're going to do a little bit of extra work on the base here. I think I want a landing platform in front. it's getting dark that's always goes about saying in this game whenever you want to do something it gets dark okay uh, got hardened steel blocks mm, well, armored concrete blocks I think that'd be adequate for what I want to do guys Oops. I think I don't really need to make a, an inner circle just come out here. I don't think I actually need, because I say this isn't going to be a permanent base, this is just going to be an operational base. So I think what we can do is just come out like that. And so it's just going to come. This is just literally to keep the, the local predators out from making my life a bit of a pain in the neck. So I'm just going to build a like that. I mean, I could put a, a couple of turrets on all the sentry guns out. I should just put a build this up. That should be big enough for a, uh, let's just put this here. Okay. That'll give me an extra. And I think what we will do is I think we'll put sentry gun there. These are really here to protect the. Whoops, this is not. I'm going to be okay, guys. I think we just got. We just nailed the troop transport. Okay. Hey. Hey. Cut it out. Let's just go and get the troop transport first. That's a that alive or dead. Okay. It's just yeah, he's dead. Okay. I'm gonna have to just change that to oops. That's well. See the local arachnids are around, so 
There's another drone coming in. Obviously, this might not be one of my. It's going to go. Not going to probably not going to go down as one of my better ideas. Okay. All right. I think what we're going to need to do is just get round into here. Sorry, it's a bit dark, guys. What I'll probably try and do is bump the gamma. Ah. Just land here. Get the lights on. Okay. Great. Uh, um, let's do this. Add you to the group so I can find you. Okay. Let's make sure take off. Don't want predators. Uh, we'll leave you with that and that. I think these can stay on everything. Actually, what well, they probably don't need generators and warp drives because the job of these is any any predators get close. guy is obviously not a predator okay what I also need to do is to be able to get up onto the roof so I think what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna put some kind of step type formations in here like that that means I can oops right get rid of that Obviously my front light is not working that well. Okay. Um one last one last thing to do is what we're gonna do is get out and deploy this. I think I could probably do this on foot actually, because the lake isn't that far away. This is where I get hit by a arachnid. But we'll be okay, guys. I'm sure we will. And then we'll just deploy this. Wow, this is a bit further away than I thought it was. Okay. Yeah, we can just drop that in. I'm just going to put... That means that while we're here, we can collect some water. Base coming in. Did I shoot that back down? Have I missed that? Okay. Oh, here he comes. Strike one more troop transport. Okay, I think we're just gonna power up. see guys there is definitely a downside of actually doing it but I mean obviously the the solution is to go and take out the drone base but at the same time these constant attacks will provide you with a, quite a, a good supply of resources I can't remember if I've, I think I've taken that plasma drone out already haven't I? I'm sure I had although it's a long way out okay, let's just check this one out remember if I took it out or not okay oh no okay we'll take that <laughs> and of course we've got the farm over here which is going to be could be quite useful though we will check that out in daylight because it's absolutely pitch black at the moment it's just gonna just show you guys there's the farm there We'll do this. It's going to 
back to just to show you what this base has got we obviously we got an oxygen here we've got a cloning station which is quite useful because it means now if I get killed on the surface of the planet uh, we'll do it but you can see that this base is not particularly strong because the core is exposed in the center here in here we've got a food processor and a couple of fridges so we could quite easily drop that in there I uh, could probably put the alien parts in there I mean I mean I've got and we've just got a single large constructor here I think I bought some oh, so tube tanks where's the constructor I'm sure this base had a large constructor oh, let's do it the proper way okay food processor automated doors there it's got a constructor in it got a single large constructor okay I mean I could put some sort of this stuff in it but um, I think what I could do is we've got a single cargo box what was that saying cargo box large constructor doesn't make sense there might be an error there but we've got a cargo box here I think what I'm gonna do is put the arm some armored concrete blocks in here for the moment uh, we, uh, that we don't need that we don't need uh, I think the hardened steel blocks we're going to take back to our ship okay. and as I say we could set up a temporary farm down here as well it's actually not badly laid out actually I mean we've got quite a few farming here so we could get a bit of farming going actually okay Right, food's getting a little bit low. I just, I just want to check what. Well, I'm sure I put something in here. Let me just have a quick look, guys. Uh, cargo box. Oh, we've got quite a lot of stuff in here. Okay. Um, I don't think I actually want to keep. I think I'd rather take that back to the ship. So we'll take this stuff back. Okay. That's. Rocket launcher missiles. Well, we got honing. I think we've got the advanced rocket launcher. So, hardened steel blocks. Okay, can all go in here. Laser pistol. Okay. Uh, now you've got a surplus anyway. 130 millimeter MSLs. I think. Does this need 130? Yep. Yeah, we got 78, so we don't think we need to. I'm not sure what else I can cover in this part actually guys uh, let me just see power on that and just go, go up go to third person I mean, we've got a radar station on the centre it's a shame I can't really s let you see this in daylight but we've now got a base area we can see so we've got a radar station we've got three cannons I think that can hold its own against whatever this area so we've now got an operational base down on Ningus here guys I think it's quite cool actually I quite like it and we've got we can restock our water now from this lake which is probably the main purpose I want to put this base out we could probably go up and actually how can you say I mean given the location of this I could actually bring my capital vessel down as well and actually come down here but there's always a risk with having capital vessels on the ground so I think what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to go up and get some plants from the camp vessel so just have a look at it. let's get up into space right here we are guys we're up on the base I've done a bit of a an iffy landing haven't I Okay. Oh, I suppose it's okay. So we got in the way of plants, plants and meds. Okay. Um, I think maybe we can get some of those down. Maybe a few tomatoes. Don't have any durians as such. Uh, 
like you berries, plant fiber, space carver, corn. I think corn will probably be a good shot as well. Yeah. I've also noticed how far I'm away from Lingus, so I think what we're gonna do is before we while I'm thinking about it guys is add advanced constructor. What I do want is a make a med bay. So that I can heal if I'm down on the planet as well. Okay. Just gonna jump into here. Right guys, just gonna put on the auto brake. I think that's probably good enough, okay. Just come here, turn the thrusters off. Ship should hang in space quite adequately like that. Let's keep, we need to keep an eye on the power. Probably going to need to actually get some more Promethium. Right, so I'm just going to go down here, get back into cheese and onion. Let's jump into cheese and onion. Power on. Back up, forward, back, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Yeah. Base is 3.6 kilometers that way. You have to be very careful. Make sure we don't fly over anything that's hostile. There's the farm. Yeah. There's a settlement there. That's pretty good. We're now flying into the dark again. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, I'll see you once I actually get to the base. Oops, we're flying over the top of the comm center. <sighs> Great. I'm um, taking a little bit of a knock. Okay. You go and take that comm center out I think. I get a feeling my base has been entertaining itself again. Okay, let's drop down. We've got a large plasma drone came in that way. Okay, we might as well just grab the resources while we're in on the way through. See the plasma drone decided to come in across the lake, but my base sorted it out. Okay. And there's a. Oh, come on. Oh, we're going to get some plenty of fuel out of this, if nothing else, guys. What the nerf is that? Was that a. Oh, it's just an anacrid. Anacrid. Okay. Well, you got in pretty close. Okay. Base attack drone. Okay. Better check to see if there's any damage then. Okay, you got in very, very close. Large base attack drone. Okay. He was right on the front door, wasn't he? Okay. okay. Just come here. Okay, let's have a quick look. Any damage? No, nope, looks like, despite the fact that they were right on the front door. Okay. So what I'm going to do, guys, is uh, drop that off. Actually, we can 
put this out first. Okay. Um. Okay. This is. Can I get? Hmm. Suppose doesn't like. Doesn't so stop it. Seem to have a central area where we can't actually put anything very well. Okay, let's have to put that smack in the middle like that then. Yeah, it'd be okay. Corn. Don't need the drill just at the moment. So, I think I'm more interested in corn. Okay. But one, two, three. There. I'm not going to put vast quantities out. I don't think it's not really necessary. That made me jump. <laughs> okay. And I think. Just have that there. That there. I think we can't. That's no, not a. Okay. So that's giving us a little bit of a garden, guys. Okay. Let's just. There and let's say we've got a health kit. Okay. Need some food. Okay, I think we're just gonna. We took a little bit of uh, damage from. Okay, everything here. Yep, yeah. Okay. We just took a few minor knocks from this side, okay. Gonna go at it, boys. Oops. Okay. I'm just gonna go out and loot these latest uh, candidates for getting killed obviously the smaller drones get shot down really really quickly but the larger ones are a bit more of a tougher proposition okay so well we're certainly going to take that I'm just going to get over here Some arachnids there, we can always kill those for food. Uh, I suppose we can always do that. I need some meat, so maybe we can farm some meat while we're here as well. Okay. And this is where I'm going to leave it, guys. I'm obviously going to be entertained myself all up for the next couple of hours just shooting down drones and having a lot of fun, but. This is where I'm going to leave it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. I mean, any tips, hit, any hints and tips on laying out new bases on potentially hostile planets, feel free to add them to the video description. And, oops, ah, too far away because I'm talking. But this is where I'm going to leave it. So, hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming. <laughs>